NBS Central, NBS Uncensored. We are back at it again, man. I got a special guest today, fresh off his battle. First time on the show. I got Loso in the building. What's good? What's good, my guy? What's good? What's good, man? Uh, so let's get straight to it, man. Uh, fresh off of the T-Top battle, man. Uh, how you feeling right now? I feel great, man. You know what I'm saying? Most people... Say it's battle of the night. Um, you know, let's talk battle rap. They just did like a little recap and uh they had us as battle of the night as well. Um, one of the best, you know, they had me and T Top as as two of the top five performers of the night. So it was a five battle, bro. Um, you know, I feel like I won clear. Uh definitely got the third clear, and then the first two, you know, you can even like toss any round up in there, because uh, it was such a good battle. But um I think uh, I think people gonna love it when it drops, man. I'm excited for the. I'm excited to see what the fans think. I mean, you know, T Top, he's saying something else. <laughs> yeah, 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 of course. I saw it. I was like, when he said three, I was like, I know you lying now because you ain't. You know for a fact he didn't win the third. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, he's supposed to feel that way. I feel like I clearly won. You know what I'm saying? So, but I mean, but we should, we both should be feeling that way if if the recaps in the room were. It's battle of the night. You know what I'm saying? Like if it's yeah. battle of the night, they saying we both we got both rated as a top three performer there too. So it's like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? That's that's gonna be the conversation around that battle anyway. Yeah, I thought I thought it was like a two one either way. Um, I think one of the dope things that you did was uh you use an angle about the gossip saying they're not angles, and then you got the uh, crowd involved. Man. Um were you surprised the crowd got involved or you, you knew that it was going to happen? Um, I actually was crazy in that angle. I actually wanted to get their involvement a little earlier. So the line I was saying was, um, you know, when we talk about the best anglers in the game, they should not rank you because there's a difference in having top angles and when top angles. And so I kept repeating that that segment like every like eight bars and um, and I wanted their reaction. in, But they ended up picking up towards the end. But but they was rocking with the content, you know what I'm saying? It was rocking with the content. It was mm-hmm. rocking with, with what I was saying in that round. And so I think that particular round actually is going to go over well when, when people get to sit with the material at home. Okay, okay. Now, are you are you surprised the way Top approached you in this battle or you kind of oh. predicted it? Yeah, bro. It's that, you know, it's the drug. I knew he was going to mix the drug <laughs> talk with the Christian talk, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was like... You know, oh, Moses is doing this. All right, well, you know, I'm doing this. Oh, Jesus is doing, you know what I'm saying? And so, um, you know, he hit me with a Christian edge bar, and I, that's been, like, the hundredth time somebody's done that. Day. Yeah. And, you know, and then the crowd eats it up. The crowd <laughs> loves it. And so it's just like, I'm like, come on. I'm I'm never upset about the angle, like, them using the Bible as an angle. I'm never upset with that. What I get upset about is the bars that have already been said. Why are y'all yeah. still going crazy? For the same bars and so you know that's what it was but he's a showman you know what i'm saying so he <coughs> he, perform, he, he he puts on a show for the crowd and they're just like you know they're just loving it so um i wasn't um i wasn't surprised by any by any of his tactics i kind of knew that's where he was going uh, maybe the third round where he was kind of trying to make it seem like i'm an alcoholic out of nowhere um i was <laughs> like okay this is random you know what i'm saying but 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 other than that though you know i mean he did he does what t-top does Mm, okay, and 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 well, did you guys knew it was you? You guys were gonna open up the the um event. Nah, so originally, so on the on the sheet for the night, we were actually third. We were after we were supposed to go after Kid Slade and Shotgun Shook, but um, but but when we got first, we got there on time. Me and T Top both were there on time, and then Clean Paper wasn't ready. Like, he wasn't in the building, I think, or something like that. So they couldn't go. Uh. And then Shug and Kid Slade weren't there. So me and um, so me and, me and and T-Top were there, and they needed a battle to go on. It was already, like, at this point, it was already, like, maybe 340. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They needed to start a battle soon. So we were just like, all right, bet. They asked us, and they said, all right, let's get it. So. Oh, okay, okay. Now, now that this <coughs> battle is done, um... I know you got another battle coming up the following week, uh, which is this week um, on the Pat Stay Tribute. Um, uh, tell us a little bit about that. That's going to be going down. Yeah, man. Rest in peace to Pat Stay. You know, so um, 
charity events. So all proceeds, I mean, pay-per-view, door money, all that stuff is just going to his, uh, his family, his children and stuff. And so uh, I got a real deal, you know, one of um, uh, the best to ever do it. You know, I mean, that was the longest reigning KOTV champion over there. So just to even lock in with him is, is an honor. And so uh, somebody that I respect. And so uh, when they called me for it, you know, some other options, I think like Mad Flex, Mike P., um, I remember they were throwing some names or whatnot. We kind of settled on real deals. So uh, Frack was another option as well. But we settled on real deal. And so I'm excited, man. You know, it's going to be a dope time because everybody's going to be out there. You know what I'm saying? What, uh, what made you pick Mike P? I mean, not Mike P. Um, uh, what deal. made you pick a re real deal? Uh, so it wasn't so much that I picked him as much as it was. It was offered to me. And um, and we, we kind of agreed that this is probably like the better – the better battle, you know what I'm saying? Like he just had came, he just gave up the chain, you know what I'm saying? But he still was the longest reigning um, champion over there. Somebody that that really had a good relationship with Past Day, um, and so did I, you know what I'm saying? And so, and like I said, he and I, you know, we both respect each other. So he's like, hey, let's go ahead and lock in, bro. Mm, this is a this is a little different uh, type of battle, no? You know, not you, you won't hear the gun bars, you won't hear. You know, Deal does angle, though, but Deal really be rapping, though. So I think it's going to oh, be yeah. a very uh, interesting battle. So are you take is so is this challenging to you, the approach that you're going to take against Real Deal compared to us opponents? Yeah, I think, honestly, though, if I'm being real, I think what's most challenging is the fact that it's a, I, I got a couple of days to get ready for it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's right back after this battle. So. Um, but yeah, you know, real deals, a um, a guy that you just gotta, you know, you can't just take the random approach. You know what I'm saying? He's not like this gun bar rapper. He's not, he's nothing like, um, he's a professional, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's had a lot of success. So you can't just talk in there like, Hey, you're not good or nothing like that. I think that, um, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be good, man. I think it's going to be a dope style clash and, and a dope time to kind of like sit up the night. And this is three rounds, correct? Three rounds. Yep. Oh, okay. What made you wanted to take back to back battles like this, you know, in the same month? So like well, remember I was already locked in for T Top in uh in December. So um I was recovering from my knee injury and at this point we were just looking for a date to do it. I don't know if they contacted me for the past day card or for or if they gave me this eighteenth of um date for T Top before, but I knew that when they contacted me for past day, I was going to do it. I was just like, man, there's no way I'm not going to do that call. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted to definitely um, support. And, and for them to even ask me to be on the card was an honor. So when they asked me for the 18th for T-Top, it kind of just landed there. You know what I'm saying? It was just back to back. And so I was like, all right, man, let's just do it. Okay, okay. Have you ever had back to back battles like this, like week after week? But uh, this is the first time. That I'm doing a three round back to back. Mm. I've never done a three round back to back. I've done a one round, but never a three round. Yeah, and uh, you know, you got some high. You have you had some high profile opponents first. T top. Yeah. Now you got real deals. So yeah. uh, it's uh, looking looking uh, very different for you. So uh, this year, man. So after you know, after you get real deal, man. Uh, what's what's next for you on the agenda, man? Who are you looking for? Yeah, um, man, I'm I'm really uh, uh, just kind of like in a mode where I'm just like, yo, let's just work. You know what I'm saying? Let's work. Let's figure out like what's gonna be the best battles, best cards. Um, I know in bullpen, you know, it's gonna be me and Miss Hustle. I think we locking in. We finally doing that one over there. But um, other than that, you know, me and Ward, we always try to do a two on two every year. So you know, some some this year to do one. Um. And possibly, you know, and obviously URL plays all throughout the year. So um, it's going to be, you know, you're going to be seeing my name a lot. Mm, are you looking for anybody particular when it comes on that URL stage? Because I heard a couple names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, man, I'm not really looking for anybody particular. But, you know, I mean, I always want to go ahead and lock in with the greats. You know what I'm saying? I mean, um, so, you know, if, if I could lock in with – with Sean, if I could lock in with um, with Geechee, if I could lock in with, uh, but even even other ones, you know what I'm saying, dudes who've been just killing it, like Real Sick, 
K Chaos, um, you know, Mac Myron, obviously he's at URL now. That'll be that's a battle people want. So I think all these battles is something that, you know, uh could definitely potentially happen. Yeah, man. That's the battle I'm looking for. Mac Myron. We've been waiting for that for a minute. So yeah, yeah. Are we gonna get it this year, man? Yeah, I think so. I think so. You know what I'm saying? I actually got called for it. Um, you know, accepted it and and just told him my price. So I'm just waiting to hear back. I haven't heard back from from URL yet, but hopefully we can lock it in soon. Okay, okay. So, <clears throat> um, outside the battle rap, I know you do a lot of things outside the battle rap. Uh, what what you got for us? Um, when it comes to outside the battle rap. So you know, last year I did a um I was on a um a ten week poetry tour. Yeah, uh, with to A Ward, but also some other poets as well. And uh, I think we're trying to gear up to do it again this year. Hopefully, our schedule is permitted. Um, we're trying to do it again this year in the fall. Um, other than that, you know, um, me and Ace Amin, uh, we're filming an eight episode. A series with Emerson Kennedy out in LA in, in March, so that's going to be some outside of battle rap as well. Um, and then, and then, you know, I'm always, I'm always just, you know, I'm, I'm still podcasting and streaming on caffeine, um, you know, doing music, doing concerts and stuff like that. So I'm all over the place. Mm, how, how are you going to be able to manage that, man? With, you, with your battle rap plates, poetry, yeah. I, I, filming. I do, I do a- yeah, I do a good job at making sure that I just I, I get that stuff done. I but I, that's how I kind of want to move. I don't ever like staying like last year because of my injury and not being able to move. I really want to take advantage of that this year. I want to be able to kind of like be in different places and, and, and get to work. So, um, you know, I, I just I want to make sure when I'm done, when I'm when I'm like, all right, cool, I'm not doing this anymore, that I've I've taken advantage of every opportunity that I could and really put my best foot forward in every single avenue that I was involved with. Mm, okay, definitely, man. You got a lot of things in store with Battle Rap also, man. But, you know, I'm not going to keep you here too long. Um, go, go ahead really quick, man. Uh, give your shout-outs really quick before we get out of here. Yo, man, everything Loso on Instagram, everything Loso on Twitter. Make sure you follow your boy. Stay tuned for all updates coming out soon, man. And we here. Yes, sir. All right, man. Once again, shout out to Los.